and gentlemen, the following is a one ball contest. Introducing first for Blackpool, England, Lord Stephen Regal. The music is beautiful, but uh, the result is not. Look at this. There's a gentleman. I've been to Blackpool. What a quaint, what a, a beautiful town. Have you ever been up on the Tower of Blackpool? Yeah, yeah. You've no more been to Blackpool than I have. Well, how do you know there's a tower there then? Well, I, I know my history. Well, I know my geography. Well, then how do you know I didn't go there? It's right down the street from the Texaco station. <laughs> I know you're. Well, I know you're a liar. I'm not a liar. It's right by Dunkin' Donuts. On the road. Right. But you stop it. There is a. There is a. And the, the, um, the Fat Burgers. They got everything there. It's a great town. Oh my goodness! What are we gonna do with Bobby the Brain? This is opponent Jimmy Ray. from Tampa, Florida. He's a man of a thousand holds. Everybody else gets one here. Malenko. Don't talk over David Penzer when he announces Dean Malenko. You're right. I should just go up there and kick him in the mouth. Dean Malenko, the man of a thousand holds, and Dean Malenko, a man who is more focused than ever before because this Sunday Dean Malenko gets his chance at revenge. I normally would say it's his chance at the United States heavyweight title, but for Dean Malenko, he's not thinking about that. He's thinking about the man he'll have to face, Eddie Guerrero, no disqualification. He blames Eddie for losing the title at Super Brawl to six, the cruiserweight title that is, Brain. There's no doubt about that, but look at this matchup we have here in Worldwide. Don't take this man's lordship lightly. Don't start thinking ahead to Eddie Guerrero. This man here, Regal, is a former television champion, former tag team champion. I mean, the man is an athlete and he can wrestle. You know a thousand holes, Dean, that's great. You know a thousand counters, that's even better. This man may know just as many as you do. Side oh. headlock, and there's a forearm shot to the head. Regal, back to the ropes. Man, boy, Regal just tied up the legs. Look at Malenko out of it. Leg sweep down. Trying to Boston Crab here to get him over. This is gonna be a great match, a great wrestling match. We are seeing Malenko here a little bit calmer than the last couple of weeks. He's kind of he's cooled down a little bit here. What you're really seeing here, Tony, is mutual respect. You notice the Christmas in their moves. You notice when Regal rolled outside. First thing he did, he turned around. He looked right back into the eyes of Malenko. As he rolled out of the ring, Malenko kept their, his eyes on him. Their eyes met and they stopped. That's mutual respect right there. Full on drag and twist. Tumbling through is Regal. Oh, that was a great counter move to a drop to a hole. Not going to see a better counter move than that in this one. He couldn't have done it better if he'd offered him cash. <laughs> Open palm blows to the head. I've got the swine. See, that's what I don't like about him. He's a great wrestler, but he has no respect for his opponent. No, none at all. He wins at any cost, he told me. He said, if you care about your opponent, there could be that time in life where you might have a soft spot. You've got to hate everyone to be a winner. Yeah. He hates everyone. One, two. Regal will try a pin here. Got a two over the top. One, two, and Malenko tumbled through that one. Roll through, actually. Got a two count. And you got to give it to both men. They're trying to win this match here. And there it is, the mutual respect once again. Malenko looking at Regal, his lordship looking right back. Regal, you know, you've seen close to, I bet over 100 holes already or moves, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, from both men. I mean, just there, he just took him over, kicked him in the stomach one move, hooked his arm, hooked his head, took him over, hooked the arm here, and he's running his fist, and, uh, palm of his hand into his face. There's seven, eight moves right there. A look at the crowd at Universal Studios. Well, they lined up here today. This is the place to be. We're going to be back at Universal Studios. We understand the very first week in May, the end of April. First two weeks in May, we'll be there again. So if you're in the Orlando, Florida area during the first part of May, you can come see Worldwide Universal Studios. And out to the corner goes Malenko. And if you're not in the Florida area and would like to attend, but you don't have the money, you'll just consider you a deadbeat. A knee to the forehead, and here we go again. Regal has him caught in the corner. This is where you don't want to be against Regal. Fierce left-handed blow.
You know, he has private meetings with the Queen on occasion. She calls him in and they discuss different things about yeah. the country. And the he's, a, he's, a, he's a very intelligent man. He's very well liked by the royalty. And How did you know that? He, he took me one. Regal took you to Buckingham Palace? Yeah. I don't believe that. You're going to ask Liz. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth? No, the Queen. So you, you're on first name basis with the Queen of England? And her hubby. And her son, Chucky. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Four they insisted to yeah. make myself at home. Really? You see some crowns I got in my no, room? No, I've, I've seen your royal crowns. Does it give or not? Is the question here. And Malenko will not give up. I think that's a foregone conclusion. Here, Bruce. Looks like the elbow's going to pop right out there. Fans are chanting USA to try to get Malenko back into this one, but Regal is dominating right now. And I'm not so sure if that USA can't bother him anymore or not. I think he's pretty well used to it by now. I think these people are just trying to figure out where they live. He yes. takes his time. He's very methodical, this man. But with Malenko, you can't be. You've got to get rid of him as quick as you can. If he's not there for the duration, he's not here for a season. He's here for a reason. He'll beat you real quick. Regal, it's almost a combination head scissors and uh, arm scissors here. Back up now, both men vertical base. Oh, Regal tried to block that, and he hit hard and hurt his knee. And he's going to the Texas Club League. Regal tried to push him his blow, but hurt his knee in the process. Malenko Rosimo, one, two, only got a two. What did I tell you? Are you going to see a wrestling match? Is this a wrestling match it's or a not? Three, well, that's almost a three count again. Malenko never gives up, never stops coming after you. Same with his lordship right here. Move after move, hold after hold, counter after counter. Here it is. He's got it. Can he turn him up? He's close to the ropes, though. He's real close to the ropes. He knew where he was. He knew he was in trouble, so he got himself as far away as he could, or close as he could to the ropes. He knew exactly what he was doing. Malenko. European uppercut, not with much effect that time, though. Didn't have much behind it. And now, oh, here he goes again. Here That's he is again. We've seen lately. That's exactly right. He is snapped again. Oh, he gets dumped out. That's the only thing I tell you. Malenko was a few moments away from getting disqualified himself. Or a few moments away from knocking his lordship out cold. For throwing D. Malenko over the top rope. The winner, as a result of a disqualification. He doesn't like to win like that. He wants to beat you. He likes to make you submit more than anything. That's his favorite. Well, Regal still hurting from that knee in that Texas Cloverly. Well, I'll tell you something. The man of a thousand holes took it to the man right there, his lordship. What a great match.